Hi everybody, Dan Oman here with some exciting news. DRF Formulator, the gold standard in past performance information, is now free exclusively on DRF Bets. Join DRF Bets with the promo code WINNING, get a $250 first deposit match bonus, a $10 free bet, and free Formulator already uploaded to your account. Access Formulator's premium features, including sortable trainer stats, race replays, personalized trip notes, and lots more. Free Formulator, exclusively on DRF Bets. Hi everyone, I'm David Aragona, taking a look at one of two graded stakes races at Aqueduct on Saturday. The big race there is the Derby Prep, the Grade 3 Wither is taking place a bit later in the day, but in this video, we're going to take a look at that other graded stakes event, the Grade 3 Toboggan, going seven furlongs for the older horses on the dirt. And this one uh, was supposed to be run last weekend, they had to cancel it due to Saturday's card being post or totally canceled. This race was postponed until this following Saturday. Seven were entered last week, just five have come back for this rescheduled toboggan this week and we've got the same morning line favorite the number five happy medium that has not changed he figures to be the heavy prohibitive favorite in this race i believe i had him at three to five on the morning line last week with chateau in the race uh, he was the second choice in the morning line back then chateau though his connections have decided not to come back one week later so that just makes happy medium an even heavier favorite i pegged him at one to five on the morning line this time and when you look at this field it's kind of hard to see him going off much higher than than that because happy medium he is a pretty exciting horse he's making a stakes debut here but he's posted some pretty big speed figures in his recent races so he is definitely the one to beat in this five force field and he's also a horse that possesses a ton of early speed so let's take a look at the time form us pace projector and it's really no surprise to see him shown on the front end of this race when we talked about this race last week chateau figured to be a real thorn in the side of happy medium because that rival was very fast but like i said chateau was not entered back when they rescheduled this race for this Saturday. So that just leaves Happy Medium alone on the lead. Uh, not a situation that the time form US pace projector is predicting to favor front runners because you do have some horses that can potentially press like the number four hopeful treasure, but Happy Medium, he is clearly uh, the fastest of the speed horses in this race. And speaking of Happy Medium's impressive recent performances, let's take a look at one of them. When he won his most recent start on December 18th, an optional claiming event, nominally of two other than was the allowance condition for this race and he just dominates some pretty good rivals in this spot the runner-up in this race that horse with the big white face what do you think now uh he finishes about seven lengths behind happy medium in this race but that horse is pretty good uh what do you think now came back to absolutely smash an allowance field in his next start winning by 10 lengths so that really backs up this performance by happy medium and as i said happy medium won that race by seven lengths earned a strong 125 time form us speed figure not the first time he's posted a big number like that he did the same thing when he broke his maiden off the layoff at belmont back in september when he won by over nine lengths getting a 122 time form us speed figure he'll be stretching out to the seven furlong distance in this race but given the fact that he's likely to be all alone in the front end i'm not really concerned about him negotiating the extra half furlong of this toboggan he is stepping up to face stakes company for the first time but i don't think he's really meeting a rival that's much tougher than what do you think now who he faced last time so even the, though he is stepping out out in the graded stakes waters for the first time it just looks like he's ready to tackle this challenge and i'll be interested to see what he does in this race what kind of speed figure he runs and if he's able to tackle some tougher company a little bit later in the year I suppose his main rival in this race is the number four hopeful treasure. And let's take a look at his last race. He collected a stake victory at Aqueduct in the grade three fall high weight handicap. That is him coming into the stretch in second place in that white shadow roll outside of Chateau, that horse that we were just talking about, who did not come back in this race. Uh, Hopeful Treasure does make a good late run here to run down Chateau, get his head in front just as they come to the wire, and he's going to hold off uh, Green Light Go, that runner who's closing on the outside. He will just miss. The form of this race was flattered by that second place finisher, Green Light Go, who came back to win his next start with an impressive 120 plus time for a speed figure when he beat a company by nine lengths next time out so i think that validates that 117 time form us speed figure that hopeful treasure got for winning that full high weight last time that number is a little bit out of step with his prior form he really had been competing primarily at parks and in the mid-atlantic region prior to coming to aqueduct last time and he did step up his game quite a bit when he came to new york and he's actually competed at aqueduct twice in his career and he is two for two over this course he did win at aqueduct going back to i believe the winter of 2019 so he came back two years later and was successful once again when he won that full high weight 
think it's going to be pretty tough, though, for him to take his aqueduct record to three for three, just given the presence of happy medium. Just seems like that horse might be more naturally talented than hopeful treasure, though you do have to admire the form that this horse is in right now. Another horse that you might want to consider to fill out the uh, exotics underneath is the number three drafted. This horse is kind of been plagued by slow paces. A number of his starts you can see in his time form of SPPs, all those blue color coded pace figures that just indicates that in his last three starts, he has been against one slow pace after another. Now, when this race was first drawn last week, it seemed like there was a lot more speed signed on. One of those was Chateau figure to press happy medium on the front end. Unfortunately for drafted, it seems like maybe now, what that this race uh, has been reduced to five runners. He will once again find himself in a paceless situation. It doesn't seem like there's really anybody to significantly press happy medium on the front end. And that could work against a closer like drafted who did have pace against him last time in the Gravesend. Thought he ran on decently to be third in that race and especially two back when he was second to cost bases. I thought he made a good late run into a slow pace. He just doesn't really have the speed figure power to be considered a win candidate in this race. And at the very most, I would consider him a potential runner to complete the exacta behind happy medium. The other horse that you might want to consider underneath is the number two, Repo Rocks, another horse who's coming in from Parks. So he has competed at Aqueduct a couple of times recently, both two and three back when he won a starter allowance race and a nominees of one allowance race two back at Aqueduct. He's going out for the very hot Juan Vasquez barn. Uh, this trainer has been winning a lot of races at Aqueduct recently. He's winning it over 40% at this meet with a healthy ROI. So you do have to respect his runners from that standpoint. But I think this horse's form is pretty exposed at this point. He's been getting some good trips recently. I thought he ran fine at Parks in his last race and he was second in that Blitz and Stakes. But do note that the winner of that race, Dreams Untold, came back in another race at Parks earlier this week, I believe on Monday, and was pretty disappointed and came back and lost at a short price. So maybe that's one reason to downgrade that last effort of Repo Rocks. So let's throw my picks for this race. Really not a whole lot to say about this one from a wagering standpoint. Happy medium, not the kind of horse that I'd be advising you you should bet at one to five, but just from a fan standpoint, appreciating the opportunity to get to see a good horse run, I, I think we can look at the toboggan from that perspective. And it should be interesting to see what happy medium can do against this field. And if he posts another one of those 120 plus time form US speed figures because if he does he could throw his hat into the ring in some grade one races later in the year but he has to take this stepping stone first to get there for trainer michelle nevin i've got the number three drafted in second if you're looking to beat that number four hopeful treasure who looks to be the second choice maybe drafted could round out the exacta in this grade three toboggan on saturday at aqueduct good luck if you're playing this weekend